Maxine Jones on the Midnight Hour Radio Show. What's hey. going on, Maxine? How are you? I'm doing good. I heard I heard you getting maximum. Hello, Max. All right. That's what's up. Let me just say first and foremost, I love that last name. Oh, Great people you. with that last name there. What, 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 Jones? Okay, yes. Candace Jones. Candace, Candace Jones, Jones, Maxine yeah. Jones. <laughs> Greatness. <laughs> Greatness. <laughs> yes. Uh, so what it is, girl, so hit us up. What's happening? Oh, man, it's, like, so exciting. Oh, I'm, like, so stoked. I got a new single that's doing really well. Everybody's receiving it really well. I'm just, I'm so hyped. We stoked. Mm-hmm. We stoked. Because we got Maxine Jones on the line. Yeah, trying to tell you something. Yeah. What's it going to be? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you don't start saying it. False that See, see here's the thing. <laughs> Maxine Jones got something fresh for us now. That's old school right there for her. <laughs> Brother, let me tell uh-huh. you something. To have this young lady on the line is a... Uh, uh, R&B legend on the Midnight oh, Hour Radio Show. Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. Sweet. I, 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 Thank you. Absolutely. So sweet. I'm going to keep it real, Maxine. We talk to stars like going out of style, but every time I think of that movie, Set It Off, I think of that song. Yeah. Don't yeah, just think about Set Off. She was in Batman Forever, too, now. Yeah. yeah. Yep, 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 yep. I mean, she, she's she's all around the border here. Now, right. now, you formed a new new group with one of your uh, former band members, and y'all using the name Invo. Can you tell me about that? Well, we're not really doing that. We're using our own names. We're formally of, you know. She's Dawn Robinson, and I'm Maxine Jones, and we're just formally of the group, and we're just hanging out and doing some shows together. That's all. That's all right. Yeah, you know? it works for me. Y'all are my two favorite anyway. So. <laughs> I hate to say that. I don't want to be biased, that. but I don't know. Everybody else acted stuck up or something. Like, y'all are pretty cool, edgy. Loved them. That's yeah, excellent. Well, well, the cool thing, too, is that um, Dawn and I, when we go out, we can we, we are able to sing a lot of the songs that made us famous as a group. So, you know, we can do it. <clears throat> We can do it, just the two of us, and we can do it. That's yeah. all right. Yeah, no, that's a good thing. Yeah, absolutely. Because what, what the good thing about it is the songs that y'all are able to sing are major songs in people's hearts, minds, and household. Yeah, absolutely. You know, so that makes that makes it well. Yeah. Now, now we got we going to premiere your new song, I'd Rather, for sure, on the Midnight Hour radio show. But I just want to know from a standpoint of what was some of the things that inspired you as a recording artist and did y'all come up out of Atlanta? Atlanta? Or what city did y'all come out of originally? L.A. or Atlanta or where? At? No, Oakland. Oakland. Oakland California? Oakland, California. That's where we started. That's where the group was formed. Okay. Absolutely. That's where we started. And we showed up in uh, for the auditions. And um, I think it was actually eight, 1989. You know, um, and the, the single Hold On came out in 1990. Mm. Wow. Spring of 1990. So that's how everything began. But it began in Oakland, California. Um, I had been living there. Um, and I had been like performing in the Bay Area background and singing and built myself up to show up to those auditions, and um, and I made it as a singer for those auditions, and uh, and that's what happened. So so who put that group together, Maxine? Like a shout out to Raphael Sadiq. Can't do that, right? Can't forget about that. Who put that group together? The group was formed in. The producers who were looking to that put that group together was uh, Denzel Foster and Thomas McElroy. Mm-hmm. They were holding the auditions, uh, looking for a, a girl group. They were looking for three members at the time to just form a girl group. Um, they were producers out of the Bay Area. They, I, I don't know if you know their history. Um, well, I know Thomas McElroy a little bit. I mean, I talked to him on the phone once or twice, I think, but I don't really know his history. Well, Remember um, the group um, Club Nouveau? Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, they were they they were the machine behind Club Nouveau. Oh yeah, is yeah, that right? Okay, okay. Wow, I'm, I'm definitely. And remember the, yes, uh, why you rumors, treat me so bad? 
Yeah. Let and, me um, go. Well, I'm good. Oh. I'm pretty good friends with Jay King, so yeah, I know. Yeah, exactly. Him. That so. that was how it all started. They were with that group and with Jay King, and then um, and then uh, they did the song Rumors, and then they um had the they produced. I think they produced the first Tony 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 song was uh. Hey, little Walter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that was it. Yeah. Nice. Man, you did a lot of drive-by singing, huh? <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> I know that's right. Hello. Man. <laughs> one, one question before we play your song. What, what, what really inspired Maxine Jones to become a singer? I know, I know. I want you to know that you've been listened to in thirty-five countries all over the world. Yeah. And, and, <laughs> <laughs> 30 million people In, including Dubai including Dubai, Argentina and Mexico who just joined us on the Midnight Hour Radio we, is, we breaking ground like you know? crazy y'all. Oh, like so cool. sledge, I love man. it yes. I'm telling well, you I, I so love it because I think I have the perfect uh, new single that's a crossover new single It's a. It, I think it's alternative because it has a little bit of R&B a little bit of hip hop and a little bit of rock and roll in it I think everybody will be able to re- relate to the message. Oh. Yeah. Well, let's go ahead yeah, that's what and let's do this right here on the Midnight Hour Radio Show. We're going to continue our interview, but we're going to debut a Maxine Jones song, formerly of En Vogue, on the Midnight Hour Radio Show. Did not. Woo! What you have, what you had, what you need, what you lost, boy, didn't I? 